Hi and welcome to the video on uh, Year 10 Trig. I'm going to make a lot of assumptions in this topic because I believe that you've done it uh, in Year 9 and you've done it probably quite well and there's probably not a lot of new stuff in uh, Year 10. So I just want to cover this stuff really, really quickly. Things you need to remember are this, you know, the, the limerick or you know, whatever it's called, uh, Sokatoa, um, which means that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, um, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. My assumption is that you guys know what that's on about and you know everything um, about that. Um, so you just need to remember those uh, three things there. So we're, we're going to deal with sine, cos, and tan um, once again. Um, the, the three types of questions you're going to see in year 10 are no, no different from uh, year 9, um, but sometimes there's going to be an unknown on the top of, an, um, of a fraction, sometimes it's going to be on the bottom of a fraction, and then the other time is you're going to have an unknown angle. So let me go through um, each of them and I'll uh, show you what I mean really quickly. I actually won't find the answer to this, I'll just set up the equation and then you can kind of go from there. In the next video I'll show you how to use your calculator for um, for these ones because the case calculator is a little bit different. So for this one um, I need to know which uh, ratio I'm dealing with, is it sine, cos or tan? Um, I look at, you know, this is the angle, this one over here, you know, that one's obviously the hypotenuse, this one is the opposite. So I'm dealing with sine, so I'm going to set up the ratio of it sine 33 equals opposite which is x divided by 17. Um, I'm going to stop there, I'm going to do the, the, the ratio of the next one and then you'll see the, the difference. This one here, again, that's the angle there, that's a right angle by the way. They own this, All this stuff only ever works for right angle triangles. If it's not a right angle triangle, um, you, know, you might as well forget it. Uh, there's other rules that you can use, but we won't do them um, in this topic. Uh, so they have to be right angle triangles, or you have to be able to make them right angle triangles. So again, I've got 17 degrees, um, here's uh, my side length of 12 and x, so again I'm using opposite and hypotenuse, so sine 17 equals 12 over x. So here's the clear distinction, this one is the unknown on the top, um, the, the x is on the top of the uh, fraction, here the x is on the bottom of the fraction. Um, very similar way of working them out but um, it's slightly different. So for this one here I simply multiply both sides by 17, so x equals 17 times sine 33, and I'll put a bracket around the 33 just to, um, to be safe. Now I could go to my calculator um, and, and punch that in and I would get the right answer. For this one is a little bit different, um, this one I need to multiply both sides by x, so I get x times sine 17 equals 12, which is good, and now I divide both sides by sine 17, so I get x equals 12 over sine 17. Okay, so that's the, the key difference between the two. Um, sometimes you have to multiply uh, both sides by x and it's simple. Other times you have to do a little bit of rearranging, but uh, essentially you get the same sort of answer. But lastly, with the unknown, um, again I'm dealing with sine um, because I've got the opposite and hypotenuse. So it's sine theta equals 15 over 22. So therefore, to, um, to, get, to find out what theta is, I actually need to kind of get rid of sine. And the only way to get rid of sine is to do the inverse sine of both sides. And again, I think you've seen this before, um, but that gets uh, that, that will tell me what angle um, theta is. And I, again, I just now go to my calculator and find out the answer. So hopefully none of that is new. Hopefully you guys have seen all of that before. You know exactly what you're doing. Um, these are the three types of questions you'll come up again um, with again in Year 10, um, and hopefully you're able to answer that, all of them. So. Um, the next, watch the next video on uh, using your CAS calculator and then you should be able to get started on the exercises, so thanks for watching.